10 News begins with breaking news. A man firing at deputies with a crossbow just hours after the memorial of Jonathan de Guzman. And new tonight, 10 News reporter Emily Thode discovered a bunch of online death threats that the suspect made toward the officers today. Emily? Kimberly, just some really sick stuff. You can see here it's a very active crime scene in Santee. We're on Wood Glen Vista. You can see the streets blocked off right now. They found that man dead inside the home that's just past that bright light you see there. It's kind of scary because, you know, this is considered a pretty safe area. 10 News found the 31 year old man who shot at deputies with a crossbow in Santee appears to have posted these hateful images online, all about killing cops all dated August 5th. Deputies say his mother called 911 about 2 p.m. after he threatened to kill her. And in fact, in his room, uh, she's been finding knives. Deputies say they went to the home on Wood Glen Vista Drive, got the mom out safely, then called to the man, and that's when the man shot at them with the crossbow at least twice. Luckily, he missed. Deputies shot back. Street blocked off with dozens of sheriff deputy vehicles. After a four-hour SWAT standoff, deputies sent a robot inside with the cameras. They saw the suspect dead. The crossbow attack on the deputies hours after the memorial service for San Diego police officer John de Guzman ambushed and shot to death. Today's memorial service for officer um, de Guzman again demonstrates the danger that these men and women face every day, no matter what agency. New information, too. Just got word from the Sheriff's Department that the man actually fired twice with that crossbow, two separate times, once inside the house around a corner, and also from a second-story window out to the deputies. That's when they returned fire. Not sure if the man was killed from deputy fire or if he killed himself. The medical examiner will determine that. They also haven't publicly identified this guy, and there's no word when residents will be back uh, allowed to go back into this neighborhood. That's the scene in Santee. Emily Foe, 10 News.